Welcome to another free tip of the week brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. In today's lesson, I'm going to create a custom workdays function. We're going to learn how to count the number of workdays between two dates. First, I'm going to show you the net workdays function, which is a built-in Excel function that counts the number of workdays between two dates, excluding Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays. That's an easy one. Then I'm going to teach you how to create a custom function using VBA where you can exclude any days you want. For example, let's say you work from Monday through Saturday and you only take Sundays off. I'll show you how to do that with a custom VBA function. Let's say we have two dates in Excel. We've got June 1st, 09, and we've got June 7th, 09. And we want to figure out how many weekdays, how many work days, are between these two dates, including the endpoints. Now these two dates happen to be a Monday and a Sunday. So I should get five, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. If I use the built-in net workdays function, let's see how that works. Equals net work days, and there it is right there. And then I simply give it the two dates. That one, comma, that one, right? A1, comma, B1, close by parentheses, and press enter, and I get five, right? Because the first is a Monday, the fifth is a Friday, Saturday and Sunday don't count. Net work days doesn't count Saturdays and Sundays. If I try something a little more, let's say June 1st to June 30th, I'll autofill that down, and I can see there's 22 work days in the month of June. Now let's say you've got a couple of company holidays in the middle, or let's say you're a school and you've got a couple of teacher conference days, and you don't want to count those toward the number of work days. There's a couple of things you can do. First, if it's something simple, like you want to leave off Saturdays and Sundays plus a couple of other dates like holidays, all you have to do is make yourself what I call a holiday list. Come over here, could be anywhere. Let's say there's a couple of days in June that you're not working. How about uh, June 8th and June 18th, let's say. And let's do one more too. Let's do one that falls inside that first range. How about June 3rd? These are all company holidays or days your school has off. Now, the network days takes a third option, comma, and then holidays. And holidays is simply a range of whatever days you want to also exclude as not being work days. And then press enter. Notice this went down to four now. Because the net work days function looks down this list and excludes these as not work days also. All right, then I'll autofill my formula down, and now notice it's 20. All right, so that's one way to do it. Now, what if you want to include Saturdays as a work day? Let's say Sunday is the only day that you take off. Well, then you can't use the net work days function. So let's get rid of all this stuff here. And now we'll have to make a custom function. We'll have to write our own custom function using VBA. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom and right click on sheet one, and then come up to view code. Click on that. This will bring up the Visual Basic Editor. I'm going to right click in here where it says Microsoft Excel Objects. Just right click on that and go to Insert and then Module. We have to include our own module in here where we can put our own custom code. Now I have a whole separate series of courses on Visual Basic and Visual Basic for Office called VBA. So I'm not going to cover all the little details here, but I'm just going to show you how to get this to work. I'm going to type in Public Function. This is a function that everybody can use. And I'm going to call it My Work Days. That's the name of my function. I'm going to send to this function two bits of information, two dates, a start date and an end date. I'm going to call them D1 as a date and D2 as a date. And this function is going to return or send back to whoever called it a date as well. So I'll say as date. And then press Enter. Now I'll press enter a couple times to give me some room in here. I'm going to make a little loop to count from day one to day two and then add up all the work days in the middle there. Now for the purposes of this example, I'm going to say a work day is everything except for Sunday. Sunday is not a work day. We're going to work Monday through Saturday. So I'm going to start off by saying day count equals zero. That's my own variable that I'm going to create to store the number of actual work days. I'm going to say for x equals D1 to D2, right? Start at the start date, 
and go all the way to the end date. And if you don't know what a for loop is, again, I have a whole series of Visual Basic courses. All right. Now I'm going to say d, another variable d, equals weekday of x. Weekday is a built-in Excel function, a VBA function, that tells you what day of the week you're working with. Now normally weekday 1 equals Sunday, right? And 7 then would be equal Saturday. And everything after that little single quote there is just a comment. All right? It'll be ignored. So d is going to be a number from 1 to 7. And I'm going to say if d is not equal to 1, then day count equals day count plus 1. All right? Then I say next x and then I return the value. My work days equals day count. And that's it. I'm going to also mention real quick, if you happen to see the words option explicit up here, which sometimes the Visual Basic editor puts up there automatically, just delete that. All right? That prevents you from having to dimension all of your variables, which we're not going to get into right now. But if you see those words there, just delete them. But now I'm going to come back over here, go back to Excel, and I'm going to say equals my work days. You can see your little function there, all right? A1, comma, B1, and then enter. And now I get a 6 because the 7th is a Sunday. See that? And if I change this, let's change this to 6, 8, which is the following Monday. Now it says 7, which is correct, which is exactly what I want. It's ignoring that Sunday. If I autofill this down now, you can see there are 26 non-Sunday days in June, which works out because there's 30 days and four of them are Sundays. So that is how we can use VBA in Excel to make a custom function. If you enjoyed this tip, there are lots more free tips at ExcelLearningZone.com. Feel free to stop by and check them all out. Lots of free videos just like this one. And for YouTube viewers, you can watch my full hour-long Excel 101 course if you go to ExcelLearningZone.com slash YouTube. It's a free course. Just log on. You can watch it all right on my website. And, of course, if you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and get updates whenever I add any more Excel courses.